our story begins high over New York City in the luxurious penthouse apartment of perhaps the most unlikely genius the world has ever known. Oh, sorry, you caught me doing my yoga. You were expecting downward dog, perhaps? <laughs> My name is Mr. Peabody. And since we're going to be spending some time together, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. You see, ever since I was a pup, it was clear that I was different. I tried to fit in. No, thank you. But never could. As I grew, I saw more and more of my litter mates being chosen by their new families. But for some reason, I never was. Come on, boy. Fetch the stick. But why? Won't you just throw it again? It's an exercise in futility. I don't want this one, Mommy. He's sarcastic. Wait, wait! Come back! Throw the stick! I'll stay, I'll heal, I'll even shake hands! Bark, bark! So, without a family of my own, I dedicated myself to the pursuit of knowledge, culture, and athletics. I received my degree at Harvard. Valedictorian, of course. Yay! And then I devoted myself to helping mankind. I pioneered new techniques in alternative energy. Resolved geopolitical conflicts around the globe. And in my spare time, I invented the fist bump, planking, tearaway pants, auto tune, the backside ollie, and Zuba. Now go. But what I'm most proud of is my son, Sherman. Hi, Mr. Peabody. Oh. Have you told them about the way back? I was just getting to that. When I adopted Sherman, I vowed to be the best father I could be, to prepare him for all the wonders of the world, present and past. And so Sherman inspired the greatest invention of my life, a time machine. Of course, time travel can be a bit unpredictable. There are bound to be a few mishaps along the way. Let's just say the Leaning Tower of Pisa wasn't always leaning. But there's nothing like learning the lessons of history firsthand. Right, Sherman? Where are we going today, Mr. Peabody? Not where, Sherman. When? Oh.